Alrighty, so we are working on the project for my fellow photographer Julia. She's going to be participating in the bridal show and she ordered about 26 images to be mounted on a so-called mounting boards. Uh, the mounting board sizes are 13 by 19, so we just printed the first print. I printed sl slightly larger, it's a 13 and a quarter by 19 and a quarter using Canon Pro Luster paper and Canon Pro 2000. For this project I will be using self-adhesive mounting boards that I recently purchased from a website called mountingboards.com. It's a very cool uh, online store by the way, I suggest that you guys check them out. They have a huge variety of different mounting boards. So the one I'm using today is called Paramount Mount Board 5 Ply. It basically feels like five mat boards glued together. And I have two different sizes to work with, 12 by 18 and 13 by 19. And as I mentioned before, images were printed quarter inch larger than the boards. And you will see why did I do that. The first step in this process is trimming off the white edges, which will help to position the print precisely over the board. Also note guys that I'm working on self-healing mat, I'm using cotton gloves, leather weights, and a keen cut straight edge. All these tools are essential to doing the job right way. Uh, the knife of my choice is 9mm 30 degree carbon steel by Foscio and I usually snap it down after every 6 to 8 cuts. Trimming white edges is uh, fairly easy. My tip would be keeping the straight edge over the paper that has to stay in case if your blade goes sideways you're not gonna cut into the image. Alrighty, once all four edges are trimmed, it's time to work with the board itself. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make so-called kiss cut right in the middle. Basically, I'm just cutting the protective sheet in two pieces. Nice. Okay, now we're going to put the image on top of the board. Uh, we're going to align it. So we have a quarter inch on each side to play with. I'm going to put some weights on top so the print doesn't fly around and I'm using this special omni grid ruler it helps me to align the photo precisely so I don't have any tilt now you can see here how much my print is overlapping over the board and I try to make sure it's even on both sides once the print is aligned we gotta move the weights on one side and I'm using the cork back ruler to hold the photo in place and now we're peeling the protective paper right in the middle where we did the kiss cut removing it very carefully not to move the board and now you can see how I'm using my hand to kind of massage it back and forth onto the mounting board you can use the felt squeaky for this, but I prefer using my hand. I think it's uh, easier and I just do it from side to side or from the middle to the edges. We got one side done. Now we're moving the weights on the other side and pretty much doing exactly the same on this side. The only difference now I'm peeling the paper from the corner. And the tricky part is to carefully get it out right from beneath the print. Here it comes. And now I'm doing exactly the same procedure on this side. Massaging it down slowly. No rush in this part as you cannot do it twice. And here we go nice and flat no bubbles just kind of running my hand around and here you go so this is our finished board with a little bit of excess on each side now i'm gonna prepare my self-healing mat make sure it's clean and now we're going to do the trickiest part of this whole process is so-called back trimming uh, first of all know that i'm using the straight edge uh, in reverse that's my personal uh, choice I do it so it will push against my blade not letting it to cut into the mat board itself 
I suggest that you practice this exact operation on some leftovers of a paper. You don't even have to stick it to the board, just put it beneath and try it. Uh, this comes with a lot of practice and this is how it looks from the other side and you can see I'm running my other hand along making sure that the straight edge won't move it's perfect if you can do it with one cut now once it's all done I'm just gonna run my hand around one more time and I'm using this roller it's like a rubber roller to push the edges down a little bit because when you do a back trimming you rip the paper no matter how uh, low you keep your blade you're still ripping a paper just a tiny bit and running the roll will help fixing it a little bit of cleaning and the print is pretty much ready here we go nice and clean I have very fine edges very fine cuts looks great to me and last but not least here is my way of attaching this mount board to the wall or any other surface of your choice is I'm using command strips uh, so called velcro strips as well Usually either two or three per board will do the job. In conclusion, I would like to say that mounted prints is not something I would offer to a client as a finished product. However, these are very handy when you need some prints for bridal shows, art shows, exhibits, etc. Maybe you want to put a bunch of them in your studio like I did. I'll make sure to put links to all the tools that I use in this video. Something that you can master yourself or like Julia, you can have Denko Imaging do it for you. I'm gonna do a little video to finish. Like you can smile. Yes. <laughs>